innovation means doing something new or different that adds concrete value. At UNICEF, we identify, prototype, and scale technologies that can improve children's lives around the world. We are deploying technologies that help us hear from even the most remote and rural communities, helping them have a say in building their own future. We want to make things that people want. Things that are not just nice to have, but that people need to have. In May 2015, UNICEF partnered with ARM in a global partnership seeking to unleash the power of technology to transform the lives of the world's most vulnerable children. The first action, teaming up with global design and strategy firm Frog to create the Wearables for Good Challenge. A call went out for innovative ideas for wearables and sensor technology designs that could deliver a positive social impact for women and children all around the world. Entrepreneurs, students, makers, tinkerers, designers and children themselves signed up. We ended up with 250 entries from 46 countries spread across six continents. Wearables that are created for social impact and social good have to be cost effective, low power, rugged and durable, and scalable. But we also had to think about context. So how would these ideas help the people in the communities which UNICEF serves? So UNICEF and FROG co-authored a handbook, a roadmap, if you will, that would help guide the teams through the design challenge. This was to help them think about creating possibilities that ranged from analog to digital, and might even be from low-tech to high-tech solutions. After a rigorous evaluation, 10 finalists were chosen. Communicate from a team based in the US, a bracelet that tracks medical treatment. Droplet, also from the US, a wrist-worn wearable purification device. Guard Band from Vietnam, a wristband that helps protect children from abuse. Cushy Baby, developed by a joint team from India and the US, a necklace-type wearable to track immunization in the first two years of life. Rax from India, a device worn in the ear to track a child's respiration rate, heart rate, body temperature and relative breath humidity, designed by a team of university students. Sopan, from an Indian and Korean collaboration, an interactive crayon-like device that encourages hand-washing by young children. Telescripts, created by an East Africa and US team, a wearable device to take patients' vitals and send the data to healthcare workers. Termotel, a joint offering from Nigeria and US designers, a bracelet used to monitor and analyze a child's temperature in real time in order to save the lives of children at risk of malaria. Totem Open Health Patch from the Netherlands, a small sensor-based device that is part of a wider Totem Health system for wearable health technology. And finally, WA, entered by a team from the UK, a sensor-based neonatal health surveillance tool. The finalists were all paired with technology and design experts to move their design ideas to fully develop concepts and then working prototypes. When I look at the entries from the group of finalists, I'm really impressed with the technology choices that they've made in the creation of the products that they hope are going to be the winning entries. They've really thought about the challenges faced by some of the most vulnerable children in the world and look to create solutions that are going to be robust and scalable. UNICEF Arm and Frog called on help from friends spread all around the tech, design and media worlds to help pick the winners. It was a really tough choice, but in the end we landed on two winners that uphold the principles of this challenge. The two winners chosen were Cushy Baby, a child health data monitor, and the team who created Sopan, the unique and highly creative hand washing stick. The winners will each receive cash prizes of $15,000 along with incubation and mentoring from UNICEF Arm and Frog and other partners. Together, we wanted to inspire people to think about how you could use wearable and sensor technology in new ways. And we're really excited to see what comes next.